All right, how you guys doing today? Um, back to talk to you just a little bit about um, symptoms of throat cancer. What is what are some symptoms of throat cancer? What are some things you should look for? Um, it's really kind of hard to figure that out. There's a lot of things that um, are signs of throat cancer, but are signs of other things as well. Um, one is kind of a hoarse voice. One is uh, throat pain, maybe an earache and a lump on the side of the neck. All of these things together, if they last for a period of time, can be indicative, I'm saying that right, indicative, or an indicator of throat cancer. Or, <laughs> it's just an indicator of a bad cold. So if you notice right now, I've got kind of a hoarse throat. Um, I've got stopped up sinuses. I've got a little bit of a sore throat from sinus drainage. I know where that's coming from. Um, and I don't have an earache, which is good. And, um, so yeah, so I've got a little bit of a, I've kind of got all those things going on right now, except, well, actually I do on the left side, small lump on my neck at the lymph nodes. Hmm. So what does that sound like? It sounds a lot like the, uh, previous, uh, uh some of the previous things I had going on before when we diagnosed the throat cancer to start with. Um, however, after speaking to the doctor uh, yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, and a dry cough, um, she's pretty convinced it was, it's just the uh, swollen lymph node is from the, uh, the lymph node, the lymphatic system fighting off the infection or fighting off the, the cold. Um, remember, your lymphatic system is one of the first filters to start pulling in the white blood cells when you start fighting a cold or infection or something like that. It pulls it in and helps filter that stuff out and helps flush that from your body. So just because you have a swollen lymph node, which I had for years off and on, uh, when I would have a cold, sore throat, things like that, um, cough, etc., doesn't mean you have throat cancer, all right? What it means is you have a cough, you have a cold. And since this is a big change of the season here, uh, weather's changing, um, a lot of dust in the air, uh, according to the doctors, a lot of colds going around. And some of these are lasting two or three weeks. And your lymph node will remain swollen for a couple of weeks. So having a swollen lymph node means that your body is working correctly with my history i have an appointment to see the ear nose and throat specialist dr smith who diagnosed me the last time we're going to go back and see her in a week from today and make sure it's nothing serious and um with her experience and her knowledge of my history i'm sure she'll be able to give us a clear clean bill of health and make sure we don't have any other issues going on but that's what it is and that's what's so hard about throat cancer is it just is we can't diagnose that ourselves. It's very simple for us to sit here and say, there's nothing wrong, it's just a cold. And I could have done that, not gone to the doctor yesterday and been okay. But again, with my history, why would I do that? This goes back to one of my other videos where I talk about taking care of yourself, um, knowing your body. Do I feel like something's wrong? No. Do I feel like I have another a resurgence of throat cancer? No. But what am I going to do? I'm taking care of myself. I'm going back to see the doctor because I do have a little redness in the throat. I have a swollen lymph node, left side. And I have a hacking cough, or not a hacking cough, but I have a dry cough. Hacking cough is a little bit extreme. I have a dry cough. Um, and that's it. A little bit of sore throat from what I think is the sinus drainage. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that's what we've got. But what does it hurt to go see a specialist and have them take a look at it? Okay, so like I said, a persistent cough, um, sore throat, a visible lump on the neck, which is very indicative of a uh, HPV-induced can throat cancer. Um, those are the kinds of things you should look for. Anytime you should get, you get a visible lump, and I don't have a visible lump. Anytime you get a visible lump either side of your neck where your um, lymph nodes are, then you should be a little bit concerned. You should probably go see a specialist and explain to them what you think and how you're feeling. And that should help work out 
you know, and see what it is. Um, it could just be an infected lymph node. It could also be cancerous. I don't want anybody to be alarmed about this. Remember, all of these things are the exact same things that come with a common cold, strep throat, a throat infection, an inner ear infection. All of these things can come with all of that as well. Have a great day. Talk to you later. I'll let you know what happens after next week's doctor's appointment. See you.